there's an important uh, zone on Venus, which is actually surprisingly Earth-like, and that is the clouds, the high clouds, which are occurring at temperatures and pressures that are not that different from Earth's surface. In the clouds of Venus, there are constant rains of sulfuric acid, which would be deadly to most known forms of life, but not all. We do know life on Earth exists in very inhospitable places. So, for example, in caves, you get some bacteria, these extremophile bacteria, that can exist in a very acidic environment, somewhat like being in your car battery. If life can thrive in acid environments on Earth, it can exist within the acid clouds of Venus. Who knows what could exist in the clouds of Venus? It would be a whole ecosystem structured from bottom to top, from the simplest to the most complex. You could have predators flying through. You could have huge colonial creatures living above in the clouds, moving like beautiful balloons floating over the surface of Venus. Who knows, because nature always amazes us when it comes to life. Today, scientists are investigating if Venus could support another form of life, humankind. If humans are going to survive indefinitely into the future, we're going to have to leave Earth. We see in the fossil record that from time to time, much of Earth's life gets wiped out. And the more planets we have, the better. Surviving in the Venusian clouds might not be as far-fetched as it sounds. The source of oxygen is already there. It's just a matter of extracting it from the carbon dioxide. Water's there, nitrogen's there. You don't really need to import any basic life support material. It's all there. You just need to process it. The technology to turn these ideas into realities is already in development. Inflatable modules are already being considered for the International Space Station. So it's not such a big step to imagine that that kind of technology could be used to make a habitat that could float in the atmosphere of Venus. Could Earth's twisted sister become our next home? It's pure speculation today, but we could see at some point in the future a human colony on Venus.